Sierra. Hotel. India. Echo. Lima. Delta. Shield. YouTube, you know by the, the title of the video that this is called 100 Rappers of All Time. Now, you gotta remember, I didn't say 100 Greatest Rappers, I said 100 Rappers of All Time. That means people I have listened to or have liked. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, clarify some things. This list consider rappers of my time and before my time. By me saying that, I am 28. And get the record straight and clear it up. I cannot stand a lot of this new bullshit. I cannot, I cannot get jiggy with that shit, like somebody used to say back in the day. Cannot fuck with. I can't vibe with it. So you will not catch people like Migos or a little baby on this list at all. If you're looking for them niggas, you ain't about to see them on this damn list. Uh, most of this list consists of. You might see some new rappers on here. People I ask give props or respect. But other than that, you're not about to catch a lot of these people that want to do these mumbling ass raps. Because this is one of the videos I've been wanting to do and make for about the longest. Ever since I heard Eminem, what that damn album was? Kamikaze. I heard a lot of people say some shit about him or he ain't a good rapper or he sucks. And I'm like, nah, yo, your opinion is irrelevant for some of y'all who fucking younger than me. <laughs> On that level. Excuse me. Lie, y'all don't actually know what rap actually is or was. On top of that, you know. And then, you know, I really wanted to do a video after some, after Migos stated they didn't know who the fuck Bone Thugs and Harmony was. So you tell I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. I just never had the right time or opportunity to actually do it. Or chance. But, you know, I got it now. And like I said, a lot of my videos are pre-recorded. And if I don't make a video as soon as possible after I post one, they leave me. I got one I'm still working on or one I'm making. So by that being said, you already know what this is. Because <laughs> it's going to be probably what, 100 through 50. So that means a lot of them I'm talking probably. Or I might just do 100 through 90 try to save a lot of time I know a lot of people hate long ass videos and me personally I really do hate doing long ass videos but like I said top 100 rappers of all time now again this is my based off my opinion so certain rappers if you're my age or older might not be in the right category that you might want them in but that's how I fucking rank them so if you got a problem with that you know you can always leave your comment I'm just letting you know it's based off of my opinion on the certain orders that they might be ranked in. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right down into this to this list. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of it right now because I'm super bored watching Judge Mathis out the corner of my eye and trying to record this all at the same time. But like I said, uh, with with no interruptions, let's go ahead and jump right into this list and countdown. Starting off with number 100, I know I'm about to piss a lot of people off with this one, but you know who it is. If you don't know who that is in that corner, that is Silk the fucking Shocker, a.k.a. the worst Miller ever. <laughs> Y'all probably like, he's so bad, why he on the list? Because he was out at that time, especially through the 90s. And the only reason why he even got fake. I'm sorry about that interruption. Somebody was making a lot of loud noise, and I didn't want to record that shit at all. But yeah, like I said, Silk the Shocker. Now, he sucks. I cannot deny it. And I'm pretty sure if you remember Silk the Shocker, you remember he sucked ass too. Silk the Shocker, Silk the Shocker sucked bad. <laughs> That's why I got him at 100. Cause he was one of the worst sucky ass rappers from the 90s. I mean, he only had one good hit, which was It Ain't My Fault. And a lot of y'all probably think, well, he sucked so bad, then why you got him on your list? Again, he's one of the rappers of my time. That I still remember. It Ain't Your Fault was the best hit, and the only reason why that was good because of Mystical. Everything else he done, he either was featured on, uh, what was that? Master P album, or Silk, I mean, uh, C Murder's album, or even the damn 
true album or No Limit Soldier album. The best thing that he ever really did, truly did was Hot Boys. And I know a lot of y'all probably seen that movie and remember that movie. And if you haven't seen that movie, you should go ahead and watch it. It's a good classic, I guess. You know, he was the star of the movie. Yeah. Well, overall, it was pretty good. So, uh, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty done with discussing and going into some more details about this Miller here. So the shocker, because ain't too much more I can say about this fella here, other than he's from New Orleans. Now, speaking of bad rappers, because we're still in the bad rappers category right now. <laughs> this guy here, Turk. Uh, you from the 90s, you remember Turk. Oh, yeah. He had one hit and went to prison for years. I forgot what the fuck he did. I think it was something with a gun or shooting at the police or some stupid shit. But Turk, a member of the Hot Boys. He used to be Lil Wayne's right-hand man. I mean, he had some nice flows when he was with the Hot Boys. I I honestly, I heard his song when I was younger, his solo album. I mean, yeah, solo album, one of his hit songs when I was younger. But at that time, you know, there was a lot of shit going on. And, uh, with me, or a life period, because I barely remember the song unless I actually hear it playing on the fucking radio. And I really don't hear that song played on the radio. And I'm definitely about to go on YouTube for the hell of it just to look that song up and be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a jam to this today. No. Like I said, this is Turk, uh, Turk, 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 Turk. <laughs> I said, I fucked his name up on purpose. That's how bad it was. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure because nowadays he out of prison. And he dad's show ain't about to rap no more. And that, he, he been killed that, his own career and reputation. So, the only thing I can say about, other I can say about him is he's from New Orleans. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty done on Turk too. Again, I'm still in the bad rappers category. And this guy deserves to be ranked at number 98, to be honest with you. This is the biggest pimp of all time. If you don't know what that is about the image, I'm going to tell you. This man right here is Birdman, a.k.a. Baby. And this guy here is one of the worst rappers of all time to me. One of the worst. But again, he's on this list because I remember him and he was part of my time. And still part of some other people's time as well. Cause he seemed like he don't understand, nigga. You can't rap. Now, don't get me wrong. He improved a little bit over time. A little bit. But that's not much. At all. It's like a good... Hold on. Sorry about that. He improved about a... Oh, shit. Sorry about that. But he improved about a good... I guess 25% from the 90s. In the early 2000s. But Birdman is still garbage. And will always be fucking garbage. I don't know. No one that part can get worse than Silk. I mean, he ain't Silk the Shocker bad at all. But he, he's pretty bad. Now, the best thing I say about him was, I mean, with the big timers, he was great. You know, the big timers, Manny Fresh had the best verses. Manny Fresh was the best rapper. And we're going to discuss Manny Fresh later on. So he's in a better slot on this damn list than this nigga here. The pimp and the damn crooked ass. Sorry about that interruption, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, like I was saying, I mean, the biggest pimp of all time is this guy Birdman. I mean, ripping people to fuck off or cunning people or booty raping people. Cause we all know that motherfucker's still a bandit. He is a bandit. I still remember the video footage. This motherfucker saying, we don't want no bitches on stage. I want niggas. Why, sir? Why? When you playing back that ass up by juvenile, you, you don't want niggas on the stage, nigga. That, that's, that's just weird and wrong in so many ways. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, he got an album out now with juvenile, you know. And that's good for juvenile. And I guess it's good for him. I mean, because this nigga's talking. I mean, he ain't doing all that talking shit like he did in the 90s. And Birdman is trying to rap on certain songs, but certain songs you can tell he might say a little couple of shit because you know, hey, Juvenile got this. What Juvenile was, I'm not about to get onto Juvenile right now because Juvenile's further along down the list too. 
But with that being said, I noticed something last year about this guy. I have to keep talking about this man here. When I listened to Bling Bling last year, a lot of y'all don't know that song yet. You can look it up. If y'all remember that song, I, I'm pretty sure you do. Cause that was the only video that I thought that was stupid as hell because your song, which was BG shit, is called Bling Bling. Everybody else got on these big ass chains. You got that little bitty ass cash money chain. But I didn't notice this until last year, and I read the comments on YouTube looking up Bling Bling. That Birdman was rapping. So yeah, y'all should look that up. You never seen that video or heard that song. Birdman was literally fucking rapping. And I always thought Birdman was fucking talking. <laughs> because like I said, he couldn't rap. So I always thought he was talking until I actually down started reading the comments and people were like, oh, I just now realized he was rapping. Or and some more comments, and I actually rewind the shit back, and I'm listening. I'm like, this nigga is rapping. That's fucking horrible when you fucking rapping. And motherfuckers think you just randomly talking. Because there was no flow there. There was no rhyme there. It's just like this nigga was having a normal conversation like I am now. So, with that being said, and I'm, with that being said about Birdman, I'm not about to respect that motherfucker worth a damn. I don't like Birdman. I look at him as a fake ass Suge Knight. I don't differ this. He actually tried to rap. But other than that, I mean, that's about it with me discussing this fella here, Birdman. Guy here. Project Pat. I mean, he was best for being with 3 6 Mafia. But he even stated in a couple of interviews he only used 3 6 Mafia to go solo. And if you remember, these pro I mean, these Project Pat, he went solo mighty damn quick. And he came out with one of the, with a good ass solo independent song. And that song was, pro I mean, uh, what's that shit? Uh, Chicken Head. You know? And if you ain't never heard of Project Pat, there's YouTube now, ladies and gentlemen. So you can easily go in there and Google Project Pat. But that was the best damn song of me that Project Pack ever made was Chicken Head. Other than that, Project Pack kind of sucks to me. He's from what? Memphis, Tennessee. I mean, he kind of sucked. But, you know, him and 3 Six Mafia, they did their damn thing, though. Will help put a Tennessee on the map. Even though I'm not from Tennessee, never will be. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. But, you know, they helped put Tennessee on the map and. I guess use it for stepping songs for other people from Tennessee, but other than that, Project Pat was like one of the weakest links. One of the weakest links. Because Country Black Down shows the other one. But Project Pat was one of the weakest links to me in that group. But, you know, I had to put him on this list in a way because he, hell, he was part of my time just like everybody else was. I had to kick it old school, go super old. Back back in the '80s, this guy was late '70s, early '80s. Well, he made this list because he still thought, for some reason, he could rap. No, he thought he could rap. KRS-One. To be honest with you, I heard some of his music from Beef and all that. His shit sucked to me, you know. Everybody, like I said, I have my own opinion. His music sucks to me. The Bridge is Over, The Bridge is Over, South South Bronx. Those were his songs. But what made it very interesting to me was when he tried to come back out of resurface, whatever you want to call that, he decided to go against someone that was good as Nelly and Loss. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, you, I mean, honestly, like I said, He's on this list because, like I said, he did try to rap through my time frame. And like I said, I did say this is going to be about rappers from the 70s from and my time period on down to the to the Wishman card. Or my era, I should say. And on down. And, uh, you know, like I said, to me he sucks, but he did have some hits out there. I don't know why he's still trying to rap. I think his last album came out in 2010, 2011. But people like that... I think I believe personally let the game go you know you're too old to let go but you know I had to add KRS-One on it because he did have 
I know a lot of people in New York love this guy for some reason or North love him. I don't know why. To be honest with you, I think Will Smith was a better rapper than him. Yeah, I know that just pissed a whole lot of people off me saying that right there. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you know, that's all I have to say about this fella here, KRS One. Now, this guy here, I had to add him on my list because a lot of people respect this fella. I don't, but he's from one of my time frames or time periods, I guess. I mean, the best hits he had was "These Are the Bricks." Or the basketball. And you if you don't know who this guy is, I know a lot of y'all do. And this guy is Curtis Blow. I mean, you can go to YouTube and look up some of his songs. This guy just sucked. Man. His rap style sucked. And his flow kind of sucked. I mean, his flow wasn't nothing like Run DMC or, or LL Cool J. Or fucking uh, Fat Boys. You know? This guy, here flow was something different. And it was and it was like the early stages of Silk the Shocker before it was Silk the Shocker. <laughs> like like what I did with that, huh? But man, honestly, Curtis Blow sucks. At me. But you know, he was one of my time frames. I remember when he did try to come back out a couple of years ago. It didn't work too well with him, you know. It didn't work out too well for him a couple of years ago. But you know, I had to add him on this list because you know a lot of people respect this guy. A lot of people like this dude. I couldn't get jiggy with it, so you know I had to go ahead and throw this guy up under the bus and throw him on this list. Cause pretty much, as y'all can see, the nineties are pretty much garb. I mean, this whole nine, I mean, hundred through down ninety has been complete garbage so far. So, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all guys know right quick. This is the end of this video. This is number ninety-five. I'm continue. And post the other one, I mean, you know, the rest later on. So I'm letting y'all know this ahead of time. This is just, I get, this is just the first part. But as I was saying, I mean, I guess at that time frame, Kurt Blow was a good rapper. I'm pretty sure he probably was. A lot of people liked him, probably a lot of females liked him. But me personally, I couldn't get jiggled with his flow or style. He did a good job in that movie, Crush Groove. A lot of y'all who like rap or love music or want to do beats and stuff, that's a prick pretty good move to watch. I mean, like I said, got Run DMC, uh, Curtis Blow, L. Cool J, Fat Boy, Shilla E. A lot of musicians that y'all probably never heard of or probably even know who they is. But, you know, it's a little brief documentary of how Def Jam got started. But, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, Curtis Blow, I guess he deserves some kind of props and credit. And I'll probably, he probably deserves more credit from me but like I said, this is my opinion on Curtis Blow only. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video right here. Until next time, peace, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for part two.